Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to love. And so um, I'm going to read out some letters that people have asked for from these books. And these are all channeled letters that I do from people's twins, their higher selves, and any other energy that they want a message from. Um, and it is all to help you stay on the love path. And so it's basically to really, really help you. You know, we all have those moments when we just need something to keep us going. And this is a really amazing way to get open the floodgates, basically, to receive sink after sink after sink. So if you have been struggling a little bit, then it's a really good way to open that door again. And so the letters that I've been asked for are letters 67, 25 and 112. So I'm going to read those out. But before I do that, I'm going to... There was a film last night on the TV and again, getting messages from the universe to say, keep on going. There was a film called Eddie the Eagle. And it is a true story based on a British um, guy that wanted to do the Olympics. And he tried everything and then realised that the British team had never put in a ski jumper. And so although he hadn't done any ski jumping, he went to, took himself off to Europe and basically learned how to, ski, how to ski jump and then entered the Olympics. Now, yesterday's letter that came through was letter 29. And the, he wore a number of jerseys with numbers on that had, well, you know, when he was doing the ski jumps, and he went through numbers 24, numbers 43, and the final one that he wore when he did the Olympic jump was 29. And 29 was the letter that we had yesterday. So it was so lovely because also in that film, um, it's all about him basically being knocked down by the British Olympic team and being told that he can't do it and it's never going to happen for him and he just needs to give up and he kept on fighting and he kept on going and he kept on because he had a dream and he set his intent out there and he wanted to fulfill that dream and he did. And so it was a really lovely message to get, again, from the universe to say, keep on going. Because no matter what it looks like, and no matter whether it looks like you can't get over that mountain, you absolutely can. So work with the moon cycles, keep putting your intentions out there, keep believing and having faith and trust that you can do it. And so it was just so lovely because there's a part in the film where he's being trained and the trainer who's played by Hugh Jackman says to him, you have to, being, do, being a jumper, it's not a sport, it's a spiritual, a, it's a spiritual experience. You have to be, you have to free your soul in order to take the jump and it's about freeing your soul when you take the jump. And so um, it was just, it was just, a, it was just brilliant. It was really brilliant. So, and it, again, it's that thing of, th of, you know, he went against all of the odds. He got into the Winter Olympics at the same time as the bobsleigh team, the Jamaican bobsleigh team, again, against all the odds got into the Winter Olympics. So, and we've had that before as a message as well. So it was just lovely because, again, and and it was just a really nice reminder to think, just keep on going, you know, keep on going. So letter 67, uh, I'll do letter 25 first. And it is this. Don't freak out. Don't go into panic mode because I can feel it. I sense it and it makes me nervous and want to run away and hide. I'm having so much drama at home. I just need to feel calm somewhere, to feel peace inside. I feel like my insides are being churned up and I'm in inner turmoil. Please know and feel me and know that our love is the only true thing that I've ever had in my life. The love I have for you is overwhelming, intoxicating, overpowering and completely and utterly dumbfounding. 
like the first time you see your firstborn, a complete immense rush of heart opening love that never goes away and never fades. Well, that's quite, uh, I know whose letter that is because I'm going to do her healing today. So again, that's quite, uh, <laughs> quite, um, quite, 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 again, that's just quite amazing. Okay, so letter 25 is this. Uh, wow, you make my heart literally explode with the flames of passion, like a huge explosion that blew open my heart fully. It exposed me and left me feeling vulnerable for the first time in my life. I usually am the one in control, very headstrong, but you, you changed everything for me. The flame is ignited and is burning away. The inside treasure of unconditional love has been found. The lock has been opened. You open the lock and only you hold the key. It is only you who holds the sacred key to my heart. Believe that we are each other's sacred holders. We are meant to find each other again and again and again. Our hearts will keep drawing us back to one another until we fulfill our destiny and truly unlock the secrets held within our hearts. Oh. Unlocking the destiny of unconditional love. Okay. And from book one, so many times I've gone to say I love you, but I always get tongue tied and my mind goes into overdrive, making me think, well, what if she says it's not what I want? And what if I get rejected? That's my biggest fear. The fear of letting my heart be truly open and truly say what I really feel for fear of being rejected. It brings back all the memories of being so deeply hurt before which made me put a, put a big, hard shell around me. You have been the only one that has been able to touch my shell. Your hands have not only touched it, they have pried it open to let the light in. Please stay with me, because I want so very much to be with you. Okay, so there's the plea to say, please stay with me, because I want to be with you. Okay, so letter 67. There's so many things that I would like to apologise for. Over the years, I've made so many mistakes and I've behaved appallingly. And I'm sorry, I truly am. I just acted out of fear of getting hurt, fear of letting my barriers down. It just seemed so unnatural for me to wear my heart on my sleeve. And with you, I couldn't stop but let out all of my innermost thoughts and feelings. Just fleetingly, I let my mask down. You saw the real me, and that totally freaked me out, because I've never done that before with anyone. You pushed the button to open my heart. Oh. oh, I feel that right. Um, okay, letter 25 is this. I oh, know 67 sorry 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 67 is uh this is this I want you to know that you what you are feeling is true it is our truth to be together to come together in this life to fight the demons from both of our pasts to learn from our mistakes and to rise above the shadows and move into the light to be beacons of crystalline towers of light creating massive light and love radiations across the planet. Our love will create and generate miracles. Know that this is our truth, our journey back to togetherness, to oneness, to the whole. Go deep within our hearts to feel me there. Two hearts beating as one. Okay, gorgeous. And then 67 from book three is this i want you not to worry not to feel any doubt in my feelings for you i want you to be sure to know that i am we are a sure thing i need you to exude that confidence so that i feel confident too the more that you show me flirt with me give me clues that i'm going to be okay and not rejected the more i will also feel that i can do anything it gives me power. It gives me strength to know that I can make the changes in my life because there is real love, real passion, 
true love there for me and it's not going to be taken away from me that I am worthy of such a beautiful connection and that I'm worthy of having you love me of having us love each other unconditionally with all our hearts and souls not hiding anything being out in the open not hiding behind the shadow of comfort oh um yeah being able to say anything so the message yesterday was very much about i can't wait until we're not having to try and analyze everything that the other's doing and oh all of that exhausting stuff about trying to work out what they're thinking um right so letter one one two i want you to know that no matter what i say or do it's you and only you that i want to spend the rest of my life with the feeling is so strong that knowing deep in your soul and that you just know beyond any doubt that this is your girl. I've never been so happy. Inside, I am literally having a party. My heart is leaping for joy that we found each other again. Do you have any idea how lucky we are? What an incredible life we're gonna have together. I'm telling you, baby, it's gonna be a wild ride. You're in for the best time of your life. Together, we are going to make history with our love. <laughs> there you go. Going to make history with our love. It's good to know. Okay, so keep putting those intentions out there. So letter 112. I'd love for you to know that we have this incredible journey together. And we are just about to start a whole new chapter of rewriting our love story. Our divine connection, which we agreed to play out on earth together. We knew it wasn't going to be easy to come together, but we also knew that we would make it, that we wouldn't let the other down, that we would feel the pull of the other's soul, and there would be no way that we would let anything get in the way of our love. Wow. Feeling the pull of the soul getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So, yay. I'm so pleased that you found me and come to tell me um, and come to me to tell you how much I love you. Oh, how much you've always wanted, how much you've always meant to me, how much you live in my heart. You are in every thought I think and in every breath that I take. Nothing in this life means anything to me except you. You are the answers to all my questions. You give me purpose. I now know that my purpose is to love you with all my heart and everything that I am. You are the reason I am here. We are here to learn unconditional love. We are the love. Trust in us and trust in our union. Wow, there you go. So the message is really, really strong. It's about not giving up hope. Be clear on that intent, you know. The big message from the movie yesterday, Eddie the Eagle, was that he set his mind to it and that was it. You know, he knew. He was just like, I am going to the Olympics and that's it. And he did everything that he could. Then it's about putting actions towards that goal. Not just saying I'm going to the Olympics and doing nothing and sitting on the sofa all day. It's about putting forward action into achieving that goal. So I hope that helps. So that's a really big message is set the intent and then do everything you can to show the universe that you are working with it towards achieving it. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Take care. Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to have a letter or a heat link, everything in the link. If you want to have a donated letter, one donation letter a day, put a gold star in the comments box and I pick one at random. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.